Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Ed from Lisa Beach. You already know. Uh, I've already uploaded a video about uh, the deep dive understanding of Adam Emancipators. So, for that reason, I will be uploading this video, which is Adam Emancipator deck profile. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you guys my list. It's really good and it works really well. I'm um, not going to go too in-depth with it. I'm going to make this video a little bit faster than usual. And um, there is no combo, but I'm going to show you an optimal board at the, end of the, at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and show you guys the deck profile. Guys, before we continue with this video, make sure you guys go check out your playmat. Uh, they have the most amazing, beautiful sleeves. They feel amazing. They're super cool. And they can actually customize sleeves however you guys want. If you guys want to put your team logo, if you guys want to put your own original design on them, whatever you guys want to put, you guys can definitely get that done. And if you guys want to get 10% off, you guys can use Elite 10 YP to get 10% off of any purchase around the whole store. I think that these sleeves are amazing. They're beautiful. And if you guys definitely want to get your some, make sure you guys do. Link will be down in the description. Guys, you already know. Let's go. All right, guys. So getting into the deck profile, um, like I said before, three researcher is definitely the way to go. Three seeker is definitely the way to go. And three analyzer is definitely the way to go. Um, I wouldn't play less of these. These are definitely your starters. Um, this is definitely a starter going second. These are your starters going first. Um... Dragite, Dragite's so good. Uh, Dragite helps you draw. These help you special from the top of the deck. Any level four or lower rock monsters. Uh, after that, you play one Dropsies, Roxies. So it's one Dropsies, three three Roxies. I was playing the Fire one too. Um, I feel like that's. I feel like the Fire one is fine. You can definitely play it, and I think it should be played. But I wanted to make the deck more optimal. Um, I used to have situations where I would open the Fire and the Water. And I hated that with a passion. Like, I hate opening up the water one. If I open up the water one, like, it kind of sucks. Like, I hate it. Um, that's it for the first two engines of the deck. Um, this is such a fun deck. Uh, I think this is definitely on. <laughs> this is definitely part of my top five most favorite decks ever. Uh, double supplier. Uh, I don't really like playing three suppliers because I don't like to add the guardian to my hand sometimes. Um... I kind of want to play a third, a third, uh, Kwaki Maru, the one that negates the traps, but I don't know how to feel because I need to, I need to test it out. It all works. It all sounds good in paper, but you got to test it out for it to really, really work. Three Guardian, three Doki Doki. Doki Doki is so good. People play this at two. People are retarded. I think it's so good because definitely being one of your monsters that you can normal summon and link away and then be able to just like special summon your parallel exceed. It's so much more beneficial to do that. Like, okay, normal summon effect, discard for cost, ash. Okay, great. I don't special summon. Link away. Uh, Paralytic seed, <laughs> right? Paralytic seed effect again. And then granite. And then search. And then you basically ended up exactly where you're going to end up. You just basically baited out the, the ash. Continuing. Scythe. Celestial. And Dasher. These are the last three monsters you play in the deck. Scythe, because you want to lock people's scythe out. Uh, Celestial, because of the package. And Dasher, because of the package. You already know. Moving on. Three Fusion Destinies. Fusion Destiny being one of the strongest cards in this whole deck. Followed by Signs being your second strongest card in this whole deck. Small World is a card that my sponsor picked up for me. And I'm not going to lie. I think it's good, but I don't think it's great. Tactics being the card that I play at two, but I wish I had three of because I would definitely be playing three of it. Uh, Avarice, call by order. Uh, forty-three card deck. If I if I'm being realistic, I want to play forty-four. This being the the third card, being the forty-fourth card, uh, I definitely need another one, and I would definitely like to play another one. Uh, that is it for the main deck. We're gonna go ahead and go into the extra deck. The extra deck is actually pretty good it's actually pretty good uh almirash yo meo bow wow dagda needle fiber unicorn opelosa 
access code talker. These are all the link monsters you play, and these are all the link monsters you need. Uh, I was playing IP Mascarena, but I feel like I don't need it anymore because now I have it here with Unicorn. <laughs> um, such a beautiful artwork. They did such a good job with this, not gonna lie. But you don't need IP anymore. Uh, you can definitely IP to Unicorn, but you could definitely just do that on your turn. It doesn't matter. Um, I think this is optimal. If you want an OTK, well, if you're going second, um, this card is good. These cards are good. Uh, I don't play Pot, uh, Pot of Prosperities because I can't afford to banish any of my extra deck because I actually use most of it, if not all of it. Reptite, Dragite, Savage being my my synchro monsters um played against somebody earlier this week they dimension barrier uh sorry uh de barrier to me they they called synchros that legit does nothing <laughs> uh synchros yes they're a really big part of this deck but they're not the biggest part of this deck um i don't think xyc would have been a good call so i think that he called it right with synchros because now he can call links um abyss dweller granite Granite searches you any rock you already know. Verde, DP. I don't think any of this needs like, needs to be explained. DP is just the way to go. Um, I'm gonna be legit. I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys. The deck is all gas, but I feel like I've had to learn how to play this deck differently in order to do well with it in locals. Uh, honestly, like if you open up like let's just say any two right you can have full combo you can synchro as much as you can you can bring out savage you can do this you can do that an optimal board that i've made has been like has been savage verde um dagda savage verde dagda dp right with the scythe at the bottom that's fine that's an optimal board um but i feel like a very simple board you can make this legit just effect special special and then let's just say you hit two or two of them, right? Whatever. You legit just do. You do. You do Dacta. And you do Verde. That's it. That's legit all you need. You need four summons, five, six, and then DP seven. That's it. You don't need to overcommit with any more. You don't need to go over the top. You have your scythe set right there this is a board that you can definitely make if if you think that's all you need <laughs> there's so many decks out there that are 1000 percent like super reliant on their extra deck so by you locking them out of their extra deck and you're just doing that that's more than enough 100 percent more than enough and i believe that this deck <laughs> can take you so far but you don't need to go so far you can legit just go Minimal effort, minimal board, lock them out, and then you pop their normal summon, you pop your scythe, lock them out, continue to your next turn, OTK. Because <laughs> now you're gonna draw a card, and let's say let's say you draw a monster. Oh, you special summon it with Dasher. Standby phase, your DPE comes back if you popped your DPE or whatever. And then you go off with the rest of the combo. You need to draw two cards because you have Dasher and Celestial and Grave. Great, you can draw two cards. That's it. This deck is so good. I feel like some people expect like over the top Mambo Wombo Jumbo. And some people are like, oh, this deck used to be gas. Like this deck is not being gas anymore. No, it's just I've chosen to play this deck differently. And I've chosen to be a little smarter with my plays so I don't just shit on the board turn one. And then turn two, once I get my turn two, because I will have a turn two, then I shit on the board. <laughs> deck is so fun. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. If you guys like Emancipators, let me know down below. And don't forget to comment down below that you like Emancipators. <laughs> See you guys on the next video.